Okay. Um, can you share screen and let's talk through what you uh, had a question about? Okay, so with the scratch. Um, there you go. I can see what you're doing now. Okay, so you was asking about backdrops. What was your question? How do I add a backdrop? Okay. Uh, how do I add a backdrop? Because like when I um tap the backdrop thing, mm -hmm. it's not letting me like add a backdrop. Yeah. It's letting me yeah. go to. Um, like, I got you. Another. Okay, I got you. So go back to the screen you was on. These are all the backdrops that Scratch has. All right, now you can add backdrops. Say if you downloaded an image from somewhere else, a picture of your house, if you want it, you could put it in the backdrops. But what I want you to do is you have back, I see stages selected on your screen. Go up to uh, backdrops on the upper left hand corner. You see a tab that says code and backdrops. Do you see that? Yeah. All right, so these are all the backdrops that you actually have selected. Right. And if you're going to make scenes, certain blocks are going to need to know which backdrops you have pre-selected, meaning you can delete backdrop one because it doesn't look like it's anything. You understand what I'm saying? So that you, when you start your program, you don't want it to start with a blank screen, basically. Yeah. See, that's backdrop one. You could delete that. There you go. And then you got backdrop two. So it was adding it. You just didn't know. Uh, which screen, uh, which tab to select. So if you click on the sprite, if you click on the other sprite or you click on backdrop, the tabs will change. And you got to pay attention to that because it'll allow you to program the background. You can, some students, I'm not going to lie to you, have put music in the background and they program how to stop the music. Now, I'm not trying to get you confused. I'm just saying if you are in this backdrop screen, you see the sounds tab. Yeah. You can click on that and you're still in backdrops, but you can program the sound in there and then come back to your code and program what you want your backdrop to do. So I'm just saying, Ms. Butler, everything you got to do in Scratch, you got to program. I think your issue early was the, it was the, the characters and now you're trying to change the scenes. So you got to figure out if you want to program the scenes or you just want them to change. You, you understand what I'm going at or no? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, how do I change this backdrop and, like, yeah, how do I change this to, like, theater? Okay, so you see at the bottom, it has, like, a little blue, um, it's like a little picture. So, uh, come all the way down. Oh, right here? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, slowly, don't click, but just point at, just bring it up to it, and you'll see what each one does. And then you see one that says choose backdrop. This is what you was asking. How do I choose what I want, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what I want you to play around with. Because that's how you add backdrops. And then when you program, you want to program your characters to be on which backdrop you selected. Yeah. So you're you're the director. You got to, you know, that's why I said maybe you want to write this down, say, uh, I think I gave you guys a file storyboard one, like scene one. What do you want to happen? Scene two, what do you want to happen? And you got to choose your backdrop and what you want your characters to talk about. You only got to do two days, so don't make this hard. But uh, <laughs> you're playing with all sorts of things. But um, honestly, just think carefully about just two days of discussion with your family and what happened. Okay. You got any more questions? or is, I, I'm I not sure if you're... Go ahead. So how do I keep this backdrop right here for scene two? Okay, first you got to select the backdrop, and then you got to save your work, right? Wait, huh? So you you first what what back? Okay, you want scene two, right? Yeah. So scene two, you got something else there because I see scene one, and then scene two looks like a little theater. Yeah. So you got to delete the scenes you don't want. Why don't you just delete all the scenes and leave scene one? And then when you put it in, you'll see how you change it. So can you do that first? Yeah, I still don't get it. Uh, what do you don't get? Give me, give me one second. Uh, I got Lindsay Robinson calling me. I'm, call, uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just putting you on mute. Okay.
Okay, Ms. Bowler, I'm sorry. That was Lindsay. Um, she's got the same issue you got. She's trying to get through this. And you, you're like at least 70% there. But what was your question, if you could remind me? Um, like, it's about changing the backdrop. Like, how would I, you know, do a scene two? I'm not right. really finished with scene one yet, uh, but I just want to know, like, when I'm done with scene one, how do I do scene two? Okay, so scene two, like I was telling you earlier, click on your backdrop two. You clicked on it? Okay. Yeah. Delete it. Do you have anything programmed in there or no? No. Okay. And that other scene, delete that too. Just leave scene one, nothing else. All right. Now, select the scene you want. That's your scene two. You understand or no? What you mean, select the scene I want? So, remember I showed you how to choose your backdrops? Yeah. Okay. So, go, go down to that same selection. And which backdrop do you want scene two to be in? You can have as many scenes as you want. I want scene two to be in the theater. Okay, so put the theater back then, because I didn't know that was your scene two. That, that's what I was saying. The backdrops are your scenes. I think that's what's getting you confused. Oh. Does that help or no? Okay. So I think you was doing it. I, I, you might just be overthinking it. I think you you had it. Each of your backdrops are a scene, dear. Now, you can make multiple scenes into scene one, but I think that's making it harder. So, when I um, do scene, when I uh, change the backdrop, all I got to do is, like, click on the character and make them talk from here. Right. Just change the scenery. That's what a scene is. So, your yeah. scene one, you, you're in your character now, but your backdrops are your scenes. Okay. So don't make it too hard. So scene one looks like it's in your bedroom, right? Yeah. And then scene two is a theater. Okay. okay. Does that help? Because, I mean, that's what I meant by the scenes. It can't be in the same backdrop. I Maybe I should have said backdrop to help you guys out. Don't make this hard. So you you need at least what? You got two days. That's two scenes. Wait, and you got to have a conversation. You could put more scenes for extra credit, but don't make it hard on yourself. Okay. The so click on the yeah. The, okay, wait, wait. You're moving too fast. <laughs> Go back. Okay. Slow down. You're going to get the hang of it. You hit back. I'm waiting for it to come back to the canvas. Okay, so you click on stage, and you'll get to your backdrops. See stage over there? Where? In the right lower hand corner where backdrops are. See stage, uh, yeah. click on stage, and you see backdrops. The screen. This is the screen where you set up your scenes. Okay. Okay. So it's gonna take a little getting used to, but you, you're like almost done with it. You just gotta get what you want to say correctly set up. So okay. two. So to help you out, you have two or more scenes, but just work on two scenes, okay? Because <laughs> I don't want you getting confused. And what do they say in each scene? And it has to be a dialogue of at least 10 minutes per scene, meaning they talk about whatever. That's why I was telling you to write something down so you can get your thoughts together. Okay. Okay. Does that help or no? Yeah, that helps. Okay. All right. If you need help, I'll be online for another, I want to say, hour. So if you got okay. questions, reach out to me again, and then we'll set up another meeting like this. But I got to call Lindsay back and do the same thing I did with you. And um, I shouted you out with all the staff. You did great because you're almost through like Kimmy on. Um, I'm going to share this video and it's not to embarrass you, it's just to let other students know how to do it because you, you're, you're halfway done with this and we can okay. move on to your web design stuff. Okay, and also I got another question. Um, did you uh, post the, uh, the um, answers to the do now that you posted today? Today? No, now I didn't get a chance yet because I'm on the phone with y'all, but I will. <laughs> a lot of y'all are calling me. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know we got to have all this done by like at least June 12th because yeah. the quarter's ending. So a lot of students are calling me. I'm going to get them out, but work on everything you missed because I looked at your scores and this is the biggest thing is it was a midterm assignment. And then you can go back with the videos for other stuff and finish it up and talk to okay. your sister because I don't want nobody to fail, okay? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later if you need. All right. All right.